Hey everybody, so everyone else has talked about their top 10 games for Essen. Now I'm going to talk about my top 10 games for Essen. Let's see. Well, number 10, it's a game from Quinn Games. This one I I saw it at Gen Con and I think it looks really, really cool. It's got a gorgeous looking board. It's set in India. It's called Agra or Agra or however you would say it. This game is my kind of game. You know I love Euro games, so this is a perfect kind of game for me. I'm very excited about it. I can't wait to play it after having seen it then. So my number 10 is Agra. My number nine is from one of my favorite designers, Uwe Rosenberg. It's another in his stupendous line. It's called Nusfahord. I don't know too much about it. There's not a lot online, but I know it's got the same worker placement, um, limited spaces thing as most of his other games in the Agricola Caverna line. And I'm really looking forward to seeing this one and getting my hands on it when we're there at Essen. My number eight, this is a game that I talked about a few years ago. And there's now a four-player variant coming out for it, which I'm very excited about. Versin das Valk. I, I don't know how to say it. I'm not great at German. I hope that worked for those of you who like German. But this is a game I'm super excited about. It's, I always said this is like a Twilight struggle kind of game. It's by Histo Games. Um, it's a small little booth, but... The original was amazing. This is called 2 plus 2, and it adds four people into it. In fact, on the cover, it's got Reagan and Gorbachev. I think that says it all about what's going to happen in this game. Cold War game set in Germany with West Berlin, East Berlin. Just an incredible little card-driven slash card drafting out of the middle game. Love it. My number seven. I love Spielworks. You know I talk about Spielworks games all the time. And I guess Blackfire is part of their line. And they have a new one, Kalimala. This one looks great. This is going to fit in with those other games. I don't know how heavy it is. I haven't heard too much. But recently I got to play Gentis. I loved it. King's Will, I loved it. And I'm hoping that Kalimala stands up to the other games that they've put out recently. I am really looking forward to Kalimala and what it can do. My number six. This one, I think think is kind of a follow-up to an older game. It's called Power Ships. Now, Kowali, or Sowali, or however you say it, um, they did a game called Power Boats a long time ago, as you know, which was boat racing on the ocean. And Power Ships looks like it's kind of a sequel to the game, sort of like how they did Factory Fun and Factory Funner. So I'm hoping that Power Ships is kind of the space even more cool version of Power Boats. I'm really, really looking forward to that one. My number five. My number five is one that you'll know is something that I really enjoy. This is a deduction hidden movement game, Hunt for the Ring. I love these hidden movement games. You know how we always talk about Whitechapel and how amazing it is. Well, Hunt for the Ring is the next level. I don't know how much it's going to add, but I know it adds like cool characters and, and Nazgul and everything. And it just looks like it's going to be right up my alley as one of those hidden movement, try to find the person kind of games. Hunt for the Ring by Ares Games looks phenomenal and will fit in perfectly into deduction games. My number four. Now, this is a designer that I've enjoyed for years. He does the, what we call the Moncala or the, um, the, action wheel thing, Matt Gertz. He's been working on this game for a while. I talked with him about it two years ago when I was at Essen. We did an interview, Transatlantic. Now, I'm really excited about this one because this is like the biggest, grandest game he's done. And I really feel like this one is going to be a winner. I think it's going to fit in with Hamburger, Navigador, and all those other games. It's one that I'm really looking forward to. Now let me get to something that's an expansion for my number three. This is, I guess, my first expansion expansion besides the one game I did it at number eight. This is the expansion I've been looking for, Venus Next. Now, I was not super disappointed, but a little disappointed with um, Hellas and Elysium because all they were was maps. Venus Next gives you what 
you what you were looking for. Venus next is exactly what I'm looking for. More cards for terraforming Mars. More start powers. More everything. This is the expansion that everyone's going to want. This is the expansion I want. It even adds a little bit more map, but even more important, it adds the expansions. It adds the it adds the expansions. It adds cards. It adds powers. It adds so much to the game. This is the best expansion. Out of every expansion that's coming out, I'm looking forward to this one because I love Terraforming Mars and I can't wait. Venus next. My number two. My number two is from a smaller company. Me and Tom found the game from them a few years ago and this game has now taken off um, from DLP. They have a new game called Altiplano. And from what I understand, it's kind of a sequel or a spiritual successor to Orleans. It is another bag building game and I love bag building. There's not many games that do it. Orleans did it perfectly and Reiner Stockhausen now has a new one, Altiplano. This one I'm so looking forward to almost more than anything. Obviously there's something more because this is my number two but if you loved Orleans and you like bag builders, Altiplano is going to be an amazing game. But my number one, no it's not Pandemic Legacy. I know you guys are going to say why did he leave it out? It's because Tom, Sam, and Z already played Pandemic Legacy and uh, left me out of it if you've seen any live plays. But <laughs> from what I hear, sorry if this is a mini spoiler, they didn't win the game without me. They should have had me play, but I know eventually I'll get to play it with, with some of my friends. But coming from the same family of Z-Man, it's the game that I'm most excited about. And this is the spiritual, amazing successor to Terra, Terra Mystica, it is the Gaia Project. I love, love, love Terra Mystica. This is a game that I just thought was phenomenal, and Gaia Project is kind of the space, added more, added six tracks, added a whole bunch of things. I got to preview it at Gen Con. I'm so excited for this game. If there's one game that I would recommend over anything else when you are at Essen, it is the Gaia Project. This one, if you love Terraforming Mars, or, I mean, not Terraforming Mars, Terra Mystica, all these Terra games, if you love Terra Mystica, if you love Euro-style games where you're doing actions, where you're building stuff on a board, you have the little the little wheel of, of power with the, purple, with the purple chips, this one's going to add even more to that. It adds, I guess, more beautiful pieces as well, um, for those who like pieces, but it is a hefty game. It is an amazing game. And it's the one I would recommend the most. The Gaia Project. That is my number one game for Essen this year. Now beyond that, I just want to say, obviously I talked about Pandemic Legacy. That one's going to be a hit. There's a lot of other games coming out that I think are going to be hits. Or games that are coming out soon. Sands of Time is coming out soon. Um, I know there's a reprint of Seventh Continent. So there's a lot of other games that are going to be there. But... I wanted to put the games that I'm most excited about that I'm going to be able to get my hands on immediately and that the other guys haven't played already without me. So for now, that is my top 10 games that I'm looking forward to at Essen. Once again, Jason Levine, and we'll be seeing you soon in my blog. <laughs>